So tonight we will start in a reclined position. So we'll just make our way down. So coming into whatever reclined position is comfortable for you, maybe that corpse pose, maybe a reclined butterfly pose, maybe just a lie and release pose so those knees would be together and the feet wide on the mat. So we'll take these first few moments of our practice to find our center, to ground down, to release out what's not serving you right now in this moment. So we'll breathe in peace and exhale negativity. And we'll begin to find a breath here, a breath of length, maybe a little longer exhale to release out any negative energy way down deep in the base of the belly. And as we breathe, We'll find our intention for our practice this evening, whatever that is for you. Repeat it to yourself. Let it resonate. And then release it out. So we'll take three more rounds of breath here. Maybe you feel that belly rise and fall with each breath in and out. More and more breath in. And a bigger breath out. We'll slowly now begin to rock the head from side to side. Begin to find a little movement through the neck. Become aware of the shoulders here, maybe rolling down away from the ears. We'll bring the head back to center now and on your next inhale, we'll reach those arms up overhead. So we'll point through the feet, the toes, find a nice long body stretch here. Maybe take some ankle circles, a few each direction. Get all those pops and creaks out. We'll take another big breath in here. And on the exhale, we'll slowly bring that right knee in towards the chest. And then we'll bring that left knee in to join it. Maybe the arms wrap around the shins here. Give it a gentle rock side to side. Maybe draw those circles on the ceiling, maybe some figure eights, a few each direction. Find that nice little massage for the kidneys, the lower back. Knees coming back in, nice big hug. We'll extend the feet up to the sky now, coming into that waterfall pose. So maybe the hands come behind the thighs, flex through those feet. We'll draw that tailbone down. Three breaths here. We'll bring the knees back into the chest now. We'll keep that right knee in and extend the left leg straight out in front. We'll flex through those left toes so that left leg is nice and engaged. We'll take those nice big circles, hip circles, a few each direction here. Right knee coming back into the chest. Left hand will come to the outside of that right knee now and we'll slowly begin to roll over onto the left side body, coming into a recline twist. Maybe that right arm comes to a goalpost arm here or maybe out to a T. 
So feeling release through the lumbar spine. A few more breaths here. Coming back through center now, we'll bring that right knee back into the chest. We'll bring the left heel up towards the glutes. Extend that right leg straight up to the sky. Take those ankle circles here a few each direction. We'll cross that right leg over the left, coming into that reclined pigeon. So you can stay there, or if you want more, slowly begin to bring that left knee in towards the chest, threading the hands through, grabbing behind that left thigh. Flex through both feet here, draw that tailbone down, and relax through those shoulders. Maybe that right elbow is gently pressing that right thigh open. We're sending breath into the hip. So we have three more big breaths here. And on that next exhale, we'll slowly release that left foot down. We'll uncross that right leg and thread it through now. So the sole of that right foot's gonna come up under that left bottom cheek. So that right knee will fall open, half lotus. Staying there, or if you want more, slowly begin to bring that left knee back into the chest. Maybe those left fingers are reaching for the right toes. Breathing into the front of the hip, down the quad. And three more breaths here. Slowly releasing it down. We'll untuck that leg now. Bring both knees back into the chest. So the arms or the hands wrap back around the shins. Maybe that gentle rock again side to side. Maybe drawing those figure eights on the ceiling. We'll come back to center and extend those feet back up to the sky, to the ceiling, coming back into that waterfall pose. So again, hands behind the thighs if you need it. Flex through the feet. Drawing that tailbone down. Bringing those knees slowly back into the chest. We'll keep that left knee in. We'll extend that right leg down. Flex through that right foot so that right leg is engaged. And we'll take those nice big hip circles with that left hip. So taking about three or four each direction here. We'll bring that left knee back into the chest now. Right hand will come over to the outside of that left knee and we'll slowly begin to shift over onto the right side body, coming into that recline twist. Left arm to a goal post or maybe to a T. Breathing here. Releasing through that lumbar spine. And three more breaths. Coming back to your center now, left knee comes back into the chest. We'll bring that right heel up towards the glute, extend that left foot up to the sky, ankle circles here.
Crossing that left leg now over the right, coming into that reclined pigeon. So again, you can stay right here, or if you want more, bringing that right knee in towards the chest, threading those hands through, grabbing behind that right thigh. So we draw that tailbone down, relax through the shoulders, flex through both feet to engage through those legs. Left elbow gently pressing that left thigh open. Big steady breath into the hip. Taking three more here. And on your next exhale, we'll slowly release. We'll uncross that left leg now and thread it under sole of the foot, coming up under that right bottom cheek. Allow that left knee to fall open. Staying there, or if you want more, bring the right knee back in towards the chest. Right fingertips can reach for the left toes. Breathe. Allow the back of the body to melt. And two more breaths. And we slowly release. We'll bring both knees back into the chest now. Again, that gentle rock side to side. We'll make our way now over to one side or the other, coming over into a fetal pose. So maybe you use that bottom arm, bottom hand as a pillow. Take a couple big breaths in and bigger breaths out. On your next inhale, gently press into that top palm and slowly make your way up to an easy seat from here. So we'll root down through those sits bones, find that nice tall spine. On the inhale, shoulders will reach up towards the ears. And on the exhale, roll it down. Two more like that, shoulders reach up, exhale, roll them down, and one more, shoulders up, and release it down. Next inhale, reach those fingertips all the way up, gaze to follow, exhale, hands to heart, and again, inhale, sweep it up, exhale, hands to heart. One more, inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep it up. And exhale, side body stretch over to the right. So we'll root through both sits bones here. Take the gaze up and under the arm. Breathing into the side body, finding space. And inhale, we come back through center, reach it tall. And exhale now, take that side body stretch over to the left. Gazing under the arm, lifting the chest up to the sky. One more breath here. And the inhale, we reach it up tall. Exhale, we'll slowly walk it forward. So maybe you begin to feel this opening through the back of the hip. Maybe that third eye comes all the way down to the mat. Check in with those shoulders, rolling down away. And on that next inhale, 
we'll slowly walk those hands back up. We'll cross at the ankles now and make our way over into our table pose, hands and knees. So we'll walk those wrists right below the shoulders, knees below the hips. Bring the navel all the way into the spine so we have a nice long line here, crown to tail. We'll take a big breath in here. And on the exhale, begin to round through the spine, tucking through the bottom, tucking through the chin, coming into that cat pose. On the inhale, let the belly sway down, crown of the head will lift up, cow pose. Exhale, round. Inhale, sway. Exhale, round. And inhale, sway. So take a few more of these on your breath, back and forth. Maybe one more each direction. Coming back to that neutral spine now, we'll bring those big toes together, knees wide on the mat, sink those hips back, and make our way into that extended child's pose. So third eye center coming down to the mat. Hips sinking back against the heels. Fingertips reaching out towards the edge of the mat. Maybe you're pressing into all ten fingers here. Elbows slightly above the mat. Coming into an active child's pose. here. Really sink the hips, reach those fingertips, find the length. We'll gently press into that left palm now and thread that right arm under, coming into a thread the needle variation. We'll bring that forehead back down to the mat. So breathing into the shoulder blades, On the inhale, we'll clench that right fist tight. And on the exhale, release deeper into that shoulder. On your next inhale, we'll press back down into that left palm and reach those right fingertips back out in front. We'll switch it out now, thread that left arm under. And on your inhale, clench that left fist tight. And on the exhale, release a little deeper into the shoulder. Big breath in, bigger breath out. One more round of breath here. And now we'll press back into that right palm and extend the left fingertips back out in front. One more breath here in child's pose. And on the inhale, we'll press back through the palms and make our way back up to table pose. We'll bring those big toes back together, widen those knees once more. Left palm will come to the center of the mat, and on the inhale, right fingertips will peel to the sky, gaze can follow, twisting here. So we're stacking through the shoulders here, reaching up to the sky with that top hand. And on the exhale, we'll bring that right palm down. And on the inhale now, left fingertips will peel to the side, big twist. So again, gaze up to the sky, stack through those shoulders.
and go on the exhale, we bring it back down. We'll make our way back to table once more. So walk those knees back below the hips. We'll take those hands out in front, coming down onto the forearms, and then dropping the chest down, making our way into a puppy dog pose from here. So nice big stretch under the arms, nice big opening through the chest. Slowly begin to shift the weight forward onto the forearms. We'll walk those legs back, drop the belly down, and come into that sphinx pose. So pressing into the tops of the feet, roll those shoulders down. On that next inhale, we'll sweep that right knee out and bring it up, coming into a half frog leg here. Two more breaths. And on the exhale, we'll slowly bring that right leg back in. And on the inhale now, we'll sweep that left knee out to the left, coming into that half frog leg. Breathing into the hip, the groin. And two more breaths. Exhale, we'll bring that left leg back down. We'll slowly lower the body all the way down to the mat. We'll walk those arms out to a T from here. We'll lift up through that left foot. So sole of the left foot's going to come to the sky. And now we'll roll over onto that right side body, coming into a shoulder stretch for the front of the shoulder. And one more here. On the exhale, slowly roll it back over to the belly. Come back to center. And now we'll bend through that right knee and begin to roll over onto the left side body coming into that shoulder stretch. So again, we're breathing into the front of the shoulder. We have one more breath here. And on the exhale, slowly roll it back over to the belly. We'll walk those hands now below the shoulders. Tuck those toes under. We're going to come up through table now to make our way back to that nice strong table. Navel in, press away from the mat. We'll step that right foot straight back. Kickstand that left foot out to the left. Shift the weight over to that left side body and open up for that modified side plank here. So top arm reaching straight up to the sky or maybe reach it overhead. Big side body stretch here. And one more big breath in. Exhale, bring it all back around, table pose. So let's take some nice big hip circles here, a few each way. And we'll make our way back up 
to table. So again, find the strong table, press away from the mat, navel in. Left foot will step straight back. Kickstand that right foot now out to the right, shift the weight over to the right side body and come into that modified side plank. So that wrist is right below the shoulder here. Top arm is reaching up to 12 o'clock, gaze can follow. Or if you want a little variation, reaching the arm up overhead. We have one more big breath in here. And on the exhale, we bring it back around table pose. So we'll walk those knees back just a little bit. Bring the heels up towards the glutes. We're on the top of the knees. We'll shift that upper body forward. We're going to begin to bend through the elbows in towards the side body. Come all the way down to the mat. Drop the legs down and inhale up, cobra pose. Nice little cobra. And the exhale, we'll slowly lower us down. We'll tuck those toes under, bend the knees, sit back, and find the child's pose. Two breaths here. And on that next inhale, we come all the way back up, shift all the way forward, heels come into the glutes, elbows into the side body, take it all the way down. Release the legs, inhale up, cobra pose. Exhale, lower down. Tuck the toes under and sit it back, child's pose. Two breaths. One more, just like that. Inhale, back up. Shift all the way forward. Heels up. Elbows into the side body. Take it all the way down. Drop the legs. Inhale, Inhale up, cobra pose. Exhale, lower down. Tuck the toes. Sit it back, child's pose. Two breaths. Inhale, we come back up to table. We'll tuck those toes under now and sink those hips back against the heels back to that toe stretch, our favorite. So hands can come to the tops of the thighs here. If you want a little more, you can always walk those hands back, up to you. Breathing into the feet. One more breath in. Make a breath out. We'll slowly walk it back forward, untuck those toes, give that gentle pat. And then we'll slowly sink those heels back. On the inhale, reach the arms tall. And on the exhale, take a twist over the right. Reach those fingertips forward and back. And inhale, reach it back through center. And exhale, take a twist over the left. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, we'll rain those fingertips down. We'll take that side saddle now and bring those legs around front, coming into that staff pose from here. So we'll find those sits bones, find that nice tall spine, and on the inhale, reach the arms up, and on the exhale, fold it forward. And that inhale, 
now we'll bring it all the way back up. We'll bring that right leg in, sole of the fit on the inside of that left thigh. And on the inhale, we reach it tall again. And on the exhale, fold it forward. So again, crown of the head, reaching down towards the toes. And the inhale, we walk it back up. We'll extend that right leg back out, bring that left leg in. Find those sits bones, inhale, reach it tall. And exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, we walk it up. We'll extend that left leg back out, back to staff one more time. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, fold forward. See if you found a little space here. You can always put a bend in those knees. And that next inhale, we walk it back up. We'll bring the soles of the feet together. Allow those knees to fall open. Butterfly pose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. One more breath in, and that bigger breath out. Inhale, slowly walk it up. So we'll keep that left knee bent. We'll take that right leg out to a half straddle pose. Flex through that right foot. On the inhale, reach it top. And on the exhale, take that side body stretch over to the right. So again, gaze is under the arm, chest is lifted. On your next inhale, we'll reach it back through center and exhale, bring it down. So we'll switch it out now, bring that right leg in. Left leg to that half straddle, root down, inhale, reach tall, and exhale, side body stretch. Flex through that left foot here, gaze is under the arm, chest is lifted. So we're stacking shoulder on top of shoulder. Exhale, rain it down. We'll extend that right leg out now, coming into that straddle pose. So making those adjustments and on the inhale, reach it tall. Exhale, fold forward. So maybe down to those forearms, maybe that third eye comes all the way down. So again, check in with the feet, flex the feet to engage those legs. Breathing here, into the groin. Big stretch. One more breath in. Big breath out. And on the inhale now, we'll walk those hands up. We'll bring those legs back together. Soles of the feet will come to the mat. Knees will be bent. 
We'll extend those arms straight out and slowly roll it down. So we'll release the body all the way to the mat. We'll walk those heels in towards the glutes. On the inhale, we'll press through the four corners of the feet and into the palms and lift the hips up to the sky, coming into a bridge pose. So you can also place a block under the sacrum if you'd like to take this as a supported bridge. On the exhale, we slowly lower down. We'll bring those knees together, feet wide on the mat now, and take a couple windshield wipers back and forth with those legs. Coming back through center, we'll walk those heels back in. We'll take another bridge here. So again, we'll press into the four corners of the feet, press into those palms, and lift those hips up, bridge pose. So you now can interlace the hands under the back. If you have that space, maybe come onto the tops of the shoulders. It's up to you. One more breath. We lift a little higher. And on the exhale, slowly roll it down, one vertebrae at a time. So again, those knees together, feet wide, find those windshield wipers, back and forth. Release the back. So we'll come back through center now. We'll bring those knees one by one back into the chest. We'll keep the knees bent, but take the soles of the feet up to the sky, coming into that happy baby pose. So reaching for the inside or outside of the feet, drawing that tailbone down, and just begin to feel the opening again through those hips. Finding that inversion, legs above the heart. Maybe a gentle rock side to side. We'll spend five more breaths here in this inversion. Exhale, we'll bring those knees back into the chest. We'll take those arms back to a goal post or back to a T. We'll wrap that right leg over the left. So come into eagle legs if you can, or wrapping it all the way up. Maybe it's just one cross, maybe it's two. And then we'll gently let the knees fall over to the left side of the mat. So just a little different variation of that recline twist. Maybe takes it a little bit deeper. Trying to keep both shoulders down on the mat if you can. The gaze to the sky or maybe it carries over that right shoulder. Checking back in with that focused breath. Find that length here. And on your next inhale, we'll slowly make our way back through center. We'll uncross those legs and cross that left leg now over the right. So maybe it's one cross. Maybe it's two. 
and we'll slowly begin to let the legs fall over to the right side now. Maybe the gaze is to the sky or maybe it carries over that left shoulder. More breaths here. And on that next inhale, now we come back through center. We'll uncross those legs, bring those knees back into the chest, wrap the arms around the shins. We'll bring that third eye center up to kiss the knees, rounding through the spine. And on your exhale, releasing out now, finding your Shavasana, final rest. So releasing that body now down to the mat, letting go of the natural breath. Allow the mind and body to melt and just be.